So it looks like I'm never going to own a house. <laughs> Not unless I hit the lottery or I wait maybe 10 or 15 years to finally uh, save up all the money to actually pay cash for a house. Other than that, I don't see myself being able to own a house. I like the idea of owning a house because I don't want to have to deal with the drama of, you know, how am I going to secure my firearms? Uh, how am I going to bolt my safe, my safe, my gun safe down? Uh, into the new apartment or whatever if I'm not the owner of the property and for me I just think that owning the property just allows you to sort of skip a lot of the problems like that uh, So and plus I would rather put my money into uh, Housing build some equity than to just throw it all away and rent But I could be wrong on that. <laughs> I mean there may be some options to rent and still have gun storage and because see I don't want to just put guns in a closet and then have somebody break in, or somebody break in the house, or the apartment, and steal what I have. Now, for one, it's a risk for everybody else in the community to have criminals armed with guns. I don't want to help the criminals. Two, I don't want them to have my guns. You know, I work hard for that stuff. So, uh, these are important things to me. A reason why I don't think I'm going to be able to own a house ever is because I don't have any credit. When I was in college, uh, credit card companies sent me all types of stuff plenty of opportunities to get credit cards and I didn't take advantage of it. I think they did that because they assumed that a lot of college kids would just open up credit cards and spend money foolishly and that's something that a lot of people did which is why they have $20,000 in credit card debt. Why <laughs> credit card debt in this country is somewhere around a trillion dollars or so. Uh, a lot of people did that but I was one of those guys who wanted to avoid debt so I never opened up a credit card account and now I'm about 33 years old and I'm thinking about owning a house and I don't have any credit. So I tried to apply for a credit card with various banks. I tried even with Walmart, Lowe's, even even with uh, my friends encouraged me, I mean, my friends encouraged me to apply at Lowe's. I applied at Walmart. I was turned down by all of them. I was even turned down by my own bank, bank I've been banking with for the last year and a half. Uh, <laughs> uh, man, yeah. And I, I even tried recently to apply for a prepaid card, which is just basically me putting down some money, uh, securing a credit card with uh, money, and so that they can be guaranteed to get paid some money. And I think I was pretty much shut down for that too. So that's absolutely incredible. And I do, the, the weird thing is that I do have good credit. It's just it never counted as credit. I bought my vehicle for $7,000 at a buy here, pay here place because really nobody else wanted to sell me anything. I was calling up places like, oh, I have such and such money down. I just want to put some money down. You don't even have to hold a car. I have money to put down. And uh, would you guys accept that deal? And I just pay and pay until I'm able to come up with a, until it accumulates into a big enough down payment, just stuff like that. And people didn't want to really deal with me. Uh, I don't have bad credit. I don't have any credit at all. That's the issue. So anyway, I paid off that $7,000 vehicle uh, in five months or so. I got in in March of 2015 and paid it off by August 2015. So I paid it off very quickly. I have a really good reference with that buy here, pay here place. However, they, never, they didn't report anything to the credit bureau. So now I have no credit. <laughs> I'm trustworthy, I'm credit worthy, but I just don't have anything on paper. I don't have an actual score because I don't have enough of a history. Uh, so uh, it's it's kind of frustrating. So I don't think I'm ever going to be able to really get any credit. And the issue is, the only way I can really buy a house without credit is by, by paying the cash because I can come up with the down payment. That won't be an issue. You know, if I can pay off that seven thousand dollar vehicle in that short period of time, coming up with a down payment wouldn't be too difficult. But you know, the issue is, uh, you know, I, I still would need credit. To, in order to get some type of loan. And I'm not making enough money, nearly enough money, to get to the point where I can just put cash down on a house. And then I hear that you can't even get a loan if it's not big enough. So if it's under $50,000, and I'm not gonna buy a house above 50,000, because I don't really make that type of money. Uh, but if it's too small, I'm hearing that they a lot of banks won't even deal, deal with you under those circumstances either. So, I mean, it sort of makes me wonder now, can you really get by in America without any debt? You know, because I talk a lot about government debt. 
I talk about how we, our government has a great deal of liabilities that they can't even afford to pay off. They can't even afford to pay off the interest on the debt. And our society is very much geared towards debt. Uh, we tell our kids, you got to go to college, and but you, once you go to college, you got to uh, go into debt. <laughs> they get that degree, and they, these kids acquire, accumulate $30,000, $40,000 in debt and more. And then we tell them, okay, now look for a job, and these companies don't want to pay them enough to really pay off that debt. So it seems like it's very difficult to really get by in America without the debt. It seems like the, our entire civilization is structured on uh, going into debt. And I, I'm not even looking forward to having a mortgage. I want something that's really modest, like maybe like a, a thirty to $40,000 house, just something really small and cheap, just something I can live in. But uh, it seems like it's all geared towards, you know, debt, 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 more, more, more. And uh, I think I'm going to have to get to the point where I'm going to have to just pay in cash. But I hate the idea of having to pay a lot of rent in the meanwhile. Fortunately, right now, that's not a problem. But uh, it's just something I got to think about. All right, for those of you guys who are living in big cities or have some experience living in big cities, I want to learn all about it. I want you guys to write a review in the comment section. Please share your thoughts on that. Uh, I want to know what that experience was like. I want your review on that city. I don't care if it's Miami. I don't care if it's... Uh, San Diego, although I don't, I don't like the gun laws in California, but anyway, I still want to know about the area. Uh, San Antonio, Cincinnati, Minneapolis, Indianapolis, uh, whatever, any, any uh, Kansas City, New Orleans, I want to know what it, what it was like living in that city, what did you like about it, the cost of living, the jobs, prospects, uh, the, the, the nightlife, the culture. I want to learn about different cities, and I want to hear from real people, not just you know, bland articles on the internet. I want to hear what real people have to say about certain cities, St. Louis, whatever. What is it like living there? Uh, I think it'll be really interesting to read about your guys' uh, different experiences. What did you like and what did you hate? All right, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and don't forget the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. Bye.